In the early days of Windows NT, Microsoft introduced a user account with absolute control. It wasn't made for us. It was created for Windows itself. The system account, also known as local system, is the guard mode. It doesn't sleep, log out, or ask for permission. You have seen it in Task Manager. System. Critical processes. System. But where did it come from? And why is it more powerful than even the administrator? Let's rewind the clock to 1993. Microsoft launched Windows NT 3.1, a new operating system for professionals and servers. It was a radical shift, the first version of Windows built on a secure 32-bit kernel, not DOS. Unlike Windows 3.1, which was built on the old, fragile MS-DOS architecture. Windows NT introduced a real security model. Users, privileges, tokens. All sandboxed and controlled. And the birth of the local system account. Now known simply as system. And with it came a ghost in the machine. Unseen in the net user list. And impossible to create because it's already there. The system account with a special security identifier, S1518. System wasn't a person, it was a concept. A built-in identity used by the operating system itself. It had one job, to run critical processes before any user even logs in. System is often compared to root on Linux, but it's not the same. System is a service account, not a regular user. It has no interactive profile, no password and no place on the login screen. In the representation of the operating system itself in Windows security model. It exists to take ownership of the earliest processes at boot, like the session manager subsystem and the local security authority. These are created before any human ever logs in. System lives beyond the login screen, powering services, drivers and security subsystems silently in the background. Over time, Microsoft added safer alternatives, like local service and network service, to avoid overusing system. But it never left. Today, system still controls the beating heart of Windows, from Windows 11 all the way back to NT 3.1. It can't be deleted, it's not a user, can access any file, modify any registry key, control every process, it is system. You heard that right, system is even more powerful than administrator. While administrator is a user account subject to user account control, UAC, and permissions, the system runs above UAC, with no prompt and has unrestricted access to the kernel. In fact, even if you're logged in as admin, there are files you still can't touch unless you become it. But there is a way. Windows uses security tokens to prove a process is system. This is called evidence in the Windows security model, a kind of digital proof, not a login form. It is built in Windows pre-installation environment that runs setup tools as system by default. Press Shift plus F10 and type taskmgr. In Task Manager, go to Processes tab to check system processes. But there's an easier way to access system with a tool called Advanced Run. This app allows you to launch any program with any account. Choose your executable, like cmd.exe or regedit. Set Run As to System. And click Run. Just remember, you will need administrator rights to pull it off. You're now running with the same power as the operating system itself. No UAC, no limitations, total control. But remember, one wrong comment and... The system account has user folders similar to a normal user. Its profile is located in this directory. Now that you've become system, what can you actually do with this power? 
System has full access to every file and folder, even those locked to admins. System can read and write to protected registry hives, like HKLM SAM or HKLM System, sensitive hives which even admin account can touch. This includes hashed passwords, group policies, and startup devices, the inner workings of Windows. System can kill any process, even those protected by Windows. Of course, killing the wrong process will crash or reboot the system. Also, the administrator have a similar rights to do it. System bypasses user account control, because it's higher than admin. You won't see elevation prompts. You don't need run as administrator. System is already elevated. System can spy on or even interact with other user sessions. You can list users, switch desktops, or inject processes across accounts. But there's something advanced. System doesn't even run under your user session. It runs in session 0, the original, non-interactive session used for services. When you run Explorer as system, you're forcing a non-interactive identity into a virtual desktop, which will cause Explorer to fail. System owns the process, but your session owns the window. System, the master of all files, the owner of all processes, the ghost that rules your machine. Or so it seems. Trusted installer. For over 30 years, system has lived inside every version of Windows NT. It's not just a process, not just a user. It's the operating system's identity, invisible to most, unreachable to many, but always present. System has no password but maximum privileges. System is not in the interactive users group. System runs before user login. System doesn't have a roaming profile but it does get a virtualized update a folder if needed. System can't be impersonated, without valid token evidence. This was a simplified look at a complex part of Windows. The truth goes even deeper, into tokens, sessions, handles, and more. If this video helped you uncover the secrets of Windows, drop a like, comment your idea for the next deep dive, and hit subscribe for more videos. Want a full episode on Trusted Installer? The one user even system can't control? Let me down in the comments. You will not want to miss this one. Thanks for watching.